Hi, my friends. Oh, we got to turn this this way. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Well, hello, my friends. I am live. I've got a little technical issue here. Hold on just a sec. Get my hand out of the way. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on on the stove today. I'm going to wait a couple minutes for people to get on. Okay. While I set my laptop up so I can see you over here too. Hopefully we get some people to pop on. Maybe that's a better view. Oh, it doesn't like it when I do that. Okay. Right about. Sorry about all the moving around. Ugh. There we go. That's so much fun. Okay. So we're here. And it's kind of sideways. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look sideways to you guys. Um, it's just because it won't let me uh, do my phone the way I usually do. So anyway, let me turn some light on the subject. It's still kind of dark. I'm still waiting for people to come on and join us. If you'd like to join us. Get some more light on there. It's still dark. Hang on a second. Let me put the lights on. Does that help some? There we go. Okay. So, um, just as a reminder with today's live, if you hop on and you comment and you stick around to the end of the live, um, I will put you in a drawing for a free item. And so I decided what, what we're going to give away today is one of the items that we make today. So, um... I will, we'll get to that in a few minutes. So let's get started on the first, um, on our first project, first DIY project, okay? So I already have this going, the double boiler going, because you know, we always, when we melt stuff, I always like to use a double boiler. Um, and I put the, uh, so we're gonna make lotion bars today. And um, that's one of five things we're gonna make today. Um, so the lotion bars, they require beeswax, and you know that takes forever to melt. So I got that started first. So we've got, um, I halved my uh, ingredients. I said I gave you the ingredients in, in an earlier post. So I'm using half of the ingredients because I don't need as many bars right now. Um, so, but what you're gonna wanna do is uh, two thirds cups of be two thirds of a cup of beeswax. And I use those pellets because they melt faster. And then a half a cup, a half a cup of coconut oil. I'm using a quarter cup. And you want to use the um, the hard coconut oil, not the because it sets up when it's cool. You don't want to use fractionated coconut oil because it stays liquid all the time. Okay, I'll put that in the double boiler. Okay, and then. I pre-measured this. This is cocoa butter, and um, I also have a quarter cup of cocoa butter, but you'll want a half a cup of cocoa butter. So, so far you have a third cup of be uh, two thirds cups of beeswax, a half cup of coconut oil, and a half cup of cocoa butter. So that goes the butter. The butter, the cocoa butter, kind of firms it up and makes it nice and creamy. Okay. I'm going to set that over there and just let this melt really nicely. I love lotion bars because you can't always bring a tube of lotion wherever you go. They also make really great, um, it's great for massage if you don't want an oily mess, right? Okay, so while that, that's melting, um, so I have some silicone molds that I use for the lotion bars and my soaps. And um, so we're gonna be using this one today. This has got a whole bunch of different square, um, square holes. And there's this one that I use for my mini soaps. 
Um, but you could make bigger lotion bars if you wanted to, or round ones, um, or these miniature, I love these mini ones, because the, the different shapes, this is like a pyramid, and um, like a bonbon, and you can use these for chocolates too, speaking of which, but then the heart shapes, would be, which would be awesome for Valentine's Day, um, and then these Madeline, Madeline shapes, so those are kind of cool. Um, the thing about Valentine's Day, let's go back to that, is, you know, it doesn't have to be just with a partner, right? Um, it doesn't have to be just a romantic day. Um, the origins of Valentine's Day, um, go back to the third, I want to say the third century. Um, St. Valentine, um, was prohibited from performing marriages by uh, Emperor Claudius, um, who believed that um, the young men would get distracted um, from their soldier duties if they were married or had families. And so he prohibited marriages. Um, and so St. Valentine would perform these marriages in secret, and he was killed because of it. He was martyred because of it. Okay, so now we have this all melted. We're gonna let it sit for a couple of minutes. Still, still over the heat, but um, we're gonna move it back here and just let it sit for a couple of minutes. Um, and so Saint Valentine, he was martyred for his um, for his sacrifice. So, um, sorry about the messages coming through. Um, and so I think of more the sacrifice as the important part of the holiday rather than necessarily the romantic part. Um, so, and also just, you know, you can love on yourself. You can do things for other people, um, but it doesn't necessarily have to be with a partner. So anyway, let's turn that burner off. Okay, so now we've got that cooling. And the reason why you want it to cool just a little bit because the essential oils can lose some of their benefits if it's too hot. And we've talked about that before. Okay, so um, because these lotion bars are for Valentine's Day, and, you know, this is our uh, love potions, right? Um, uh, there are two uh, blends that I really love to use for, for these. Um, they have different effects, right? So passion is our inspiring blend it really does that it does inspire it inspires passion it helps you um it helps you dream it gives you confidence right so you can use that one um and then there's also whisper uh whisper is our, the blend for women a lot of women like to use it for perfume it's calming it's sensuous it's a lot of men like it um it's kind of a turn on for some people um, for me, it's just really calming and soothing. And, um, so that would be really great for a lotion bar for, for a massage, um, for a sensual massage. Both of them would be actually. So, um, what we're going to do now, and now that it's had a chance to cool a little bit, I'd love to have it cool a little longer, but, um, oh, another thing, I want, let it cool for a minute. Um, another thing I'd like to, I love passion. It's one of my favorite oils to use as a perfume. In fact, I have, have the roller too. Um, this also comes in the um, aromatherapy touch kit. Um, I like to layer my scents. So I like to use the oil in the diffuser. I like to use the oil, you know, on my, you know, on my wrist and on my pulse points as a perfume. And then with the, with the lotion bar, um, I can put that on my body too and just kind of smell like passion or even combine them. So if I'm wearing passion, but I want whisper also, you know, I can use the whisper lotion bars. Okay. So I'm going to do passion cause I've run out of those. So you're going to need 15 drops of passion. And as always, these always take forever to drop. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, 
11, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, 15. Yummy. I love this. So passion has in it fractionated coconut oil, cardamom, cinnamon bark, ginger, clove, sandalwood, jasmine, and vanilla extract. And demania. It's just so, it's so yummy. Makes me want to eat it. Okay, so let's get that all mixed in together. Don't you love my little colorful whisk? I love it. It's fun. Mix that all in together. Don't waste any of it. Okay. And then it's already starting to cool because it's cold in the house. We have a little snow going today. And just pour it in each of the little spots. Then you're gonna to wanna to set this aside for about three hours, two to three hours, so that it completely hardens. And if you find that it's cooling too much as you're pouring, that was perfect anyway, but you can stick it back in the heat and it'll melt it right back up again. So I'm gonna use one of my tiny ones for this little tiny little bit left. So, I mean, it won't be much, but Okay, so that's all done there. And it smells really good. So that that made approximately, that made six of those little squares. So, um, but I love these, these are the perfect size. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let them cool. And then once they're cool, then you can um, wrap them, you should wrap them in plastic and put them in a container. So what I'm gonna do after they're cool is I'm gonna take one of these containers, um, and then just after they're wrapped, I'll set them in there and then put them in the refrigerator to keep because, I mean, this time of year, I don't really need to put them in the refrigerator. I just do it because it's habit now. But, um, okay, so there's that. Those are our lotion bars. So do you guys have any question about the, the lotion bars at all? Hi, Barb and Shaney and Lynette. Good to have you here. Okay. Well, say hi and let me know you're here so that you can get entered into the drawing at the end. Okay. Um, because you'll be you'll be able to be in a drawing for one of the things we're making today. Okay. So that was the lotion bars. We're gonna let them let them cool. I'm gonna leave them here while we do our next thing. At least move this out of the way because I need this space up here. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna work on is what I call our lovely linen spray, okay? So I love linen sprays. I love to have um, just a beautiful scent on my pillowcase. So um, I found this recipe and I'm really loving it. So what you'll want is a two ounce uh, spray bottle, okay? And in that spray bottle, this is for relaxing and uplifting. And now, you're gonna wonder why this is, you know, for Valentine's Day. Well, to be able to be intimate, it's important to be able to relax. And I think that relaxation um, build, can build excitement. So what we're gonna put in this are sandalwood. And this is the first time I'm using this particular sandalwood and I love the smell of it. Um, bergamot, so 10 drops of sandalwood, 10 drops of bergamot, and then three drops of ginger, um, three drops of lime and then two drops of ylang ylang okay and so we're gonna start with the sandalwood so, these are always harder to get out three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and remember you always want to use glass because the oils can, especially the uh, citrus oils, can eat through plastic, okay? So then 10 drops of bergamot. I love how bergamot is relaxing and exciting at the same time. Okay, <clears throat> so that's bergamot. And then three drops of ginger. <clears throat> One, two, I find once you spray this, it 
it actually lingers for quite a while, so I love it. Three drops of lime. One, two, three. Oops, that's four. It's a good thing I like lime. <laughs> yeah, and I already um, put tape on the outside over the labels so that the oils don't mess up my pretty labels. Uh, two drops of ylang ylang. One, two. Mmm, I love the floral. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. And then you're going to want to top that with um, purified water up to the shoulder. I've gotten smart over the time. And I use <laughs> one of those now. Okay. And then stick your spray top on top of there. Okay. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. You're going to want to shake that every time because, um, you know, oil and water don't emulsify together. So you need to shake that every time before you use it. So, mmm, that's so lovely. Okay. That's why it's called Lovely Linen Spray. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Okay, so our next, um, our next item that we're gonna make is called Passionate Perfume. Okay, and so we're gonna bring that, the Passion and the Whisper back out. Okay, and also a 10 milliliter, 10 milliliter roller bottle. Okay, these are so easy, you know how to do these, but this is a great recipe. So 10 drops of passion. And again, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is why I didn't um, combine them before in um, in the lotion bars because I knew I was going to be doing this. And then five drops of Whisper. Okay, come on. One, two. So with these bottles, there's always a sweet spot um, where they drip better. Okay, and then you know how I leave, I take, use my fractionated coconut oil in it in a big dropper bottle because it makes it easier without spilling and you just fill it up the remainder of the way with the fractionated coconut oil and I like this big bigger bottle because it fills so much faster just up to the neck like we always do to give it room to combine and then you're gonna take your roller top pop that on there screw your lid on and there you go just kind of rock it back and forth gently to mix it and then we'll see how that smells I'm gonna use my other wrist because I used the other one before oh my goodness you guys so the whisper enhances the scent of the passion it like pulls that passion out and multiplies it beautiful beautiful blend so this passionate perfume okay hmm you ready for the next one okay so the next thing is more about yourself and just um, giving yourself some love um so we're going to make a relaxing hand massage oil and um i love my dear friend honey she gets these um supplements and they're in these wonderful dropper bottles and she gives the she cleans them up and and gives them to me which I am so so grateful for because they're great for making tinctures like this so um so the first thing you're gonna want it, this is a two ounce bottle okay and then you're gonna we're gonna use neroli uh, it only comes in a roller so we're gonna open the roller and we're gonna pull out some of the neroli um, frankincense, which I already have a dropper because I use it every day. <laughs> um, we're going to use bergamot again, and we're going to use wild orange, and we're going to use some sandalwood again. Okay, so this is 
The reason why I want to use a dropper bottle is because it's so much easier just to take a couple of drops and put it on your hand. And I'll show you how that works. Okay, so with Neroli, you have to take the the, the um, dropper lid off. So um, I have one of those orifice tools. Okay, come on. These pop off pretty easily. I love the smell of Neroli. It's a little spicy. I like that. And you want to take a pipette. And you want three... You typically want three drops of Neroli, but because this is in a touch bottle, I'm gonna put, we're gonna put six drops in our, in our oil, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna put the rest back in the, the roller. Okay, and then stick your roller back on top of your bottle, okay? So that's the Neroli, and then two drops of frankincense. One, two. I tell you, the droppers make a big difference. Make it so much easier. And then two drops of bergamot. Okay. Frankincense is so good on your skin. And all the flower oils really are good for your skin, but they're also really calming. So, and then ginger, one drop of ginger. Wait, no, I'm on the wrong one, sorry. Uh, two drops of wild orange. Wild orange is, is calming and uplifting also, like the bergamot, okay? And then sand, sandalwood, one drop of sandalwood. One drop of this goes a really long way. There we go. And it's thick too, so not as thick as some of our other ones but okay and then we are going to top that with a carrier oil so a liquid carrier oil um and you want it to be a dry a quote unquote dry oil which means that it um it doesn't it absorbs quickly into the skin and it doesn't leave a greasy um feeling to it so i like personally to use grapeseed oil um not to fill it the whole way with grapeseed oil but grapeseed and, and fractionated coconut oil are my two favorites you could use um jojoba you could use uh, sweet almond oil or um apricot oil but um i'm allergic to almond oil so i, I go for the grapeseed instead so i'm gonna put sorry about the squeezing sound I'm going to mostly put fractionated coconut oil in here and then put some grapeseed. Because grapeseed has, has its own benefits to it. And this particular grapeseed oil that I have also has, it has natural vitamin E. It, you know, grapeseed has natural vitamin E to it. So it's super good for your skin. Okay. How's everybody doing out there? Oh, Yeah. It's a great, it's a great roller, Lynette. I love it. I love the two together. Okay. And it'd be really good to layer it in the bedroom, in the diffuser. I would definitely clean your diffuser after you use it, though, because of the coconut oil. Okay, let's see. Okay. And then you just put your grapeseed oil in there. I don't put fill it all the way, but okay. And then you stick your dropper top on, kind of rock it back and forth. And then to use it, um, you can use the Aroma Touch hand technique with this, which I think is really great. Um, just put a couple of drops in your hand, okay. And then just give yourself a nice, nice massage. It's very. Um, nourishing and soothing right so I have an arthritis spot right here so this would be really good for that and it smells it smells like a spa it's really yummy okay and that just soaks right in really quickly to your skin so that's that's our relaxing hand massage okay you can do this on your partner you can use this on your friend you can do this on your kiddo um, 
it's pretty diluted, so you can even use it with the, with younger kids. Um, so I really like that one. Have fun with that. Okay, and our last one. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna come back to this one. Okay. Hang on just a second. Okay. So we have another another massage oil. So this is called a called a warming massage oil, and um, this is definitely with, you want to use this with a partner. Um, it's warming in the sense of it warms the skin. It kind of gets things excited. Put it that way. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start with our two our two ounce dropper lid bottle, and we're gonna bring out the ylang ylang and. The black pepper, I use this every day. Um, ginger and wild orange, okay. And this time we're, we're still gonna use um, a non-clogging dry carrier oil. I'm gonna use fractionated coconut oil this time and jojoba. And then I'm gonna put in a little bit of vitamin E, okay. Oh, I wanted to mention about the, the lotion bars. If you want, um, vitamin E, you can add like a teaspoon of that. I just chose not to because I get vitamin E and a lot of other uh, products. So I forgot to tell you about that. So, okay, let's put those oils in there first. I'll move those back. Okay, so we've got six drops of ylang ylang. And then we're going to do one drop of black pepper. And a drop of ginger. And a drop of wild orange. Whoops, I got two in there. Sorry about that. That's okay, it'll smell good. Um, okay, so what causes the warming sensation? Well, the ginger and the black pepper. They're, they're both um, warming oils. So, I'm gonna put some jojoba in there. And I wish these pumped better, but it's okay. It's what I could get at the time. half and, and you know I just was thinking about this um, warming oil doesn't have to be just for you know intimate moments it can also be like I said if you have some sore spots um, it can work for that too um, if, if you're gonna use it for that you know you can always add you know a little copaiba in there to just kind of drive that deeper in. But since this is not for discomfort, it's just for pleasure, I'm not gonna be adding any copaiba to this one. Okay, so just rock that back and forth like we do with our oils. And then again, um, use the dropper. Look at how pretty golden that is. Okay, and just put, put a drop Massage that in and see just how wonderful. Oh, that's already starting to to warm. And when you blow on it, it actually warms the skin even more. So it's really lovely. And if you want, you can add it another drop of um, black pepper if you like it extra warm. So there's that. So those are my concoctions for our Love Potion Live. Um, I don't know, you know, what do you, what do you guys think? Do you have any questions or is there anything you'd like to know about um, any of the oils that I used? Um, okay, anybody else have any comments? I'm trying to give you a chance to uh, be in the drawing for the free item. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I guess then, since um, Lynette was the only one who commented, and she's, you know, still, is she still live here? She's still with us? I can't tell. Well, if Lena, if you're still with us, then since you're the only one who commented, then you are our winner for today's live drawing. And since you love the Passion and Whisper Roller so much, I'm going to send one to you and you will get that. So if you could please private message me and uh, send me your address. Um, I'm not going to be able to get out to send that to you for a few days because we are in the middle of a snowstorm, but I will get that out to you um, by next week. So, you know, give me, give me a private message and I'll get that out. So thanks guys for joining me and um, hanging out with me doing some DIYs. You know, I, lo I love to do these and um, I know you like it when, I, when we do them. <laughs> um, and for those of you who are in the uh, do essential oils everyday group on wednesday we are going we have a live meeting um in the group and i will be <laughs> um speaking about healthy hearts and love potions and so we're going to feature a couple of these love potions in that live presentation so i hope to see you there and thank you so much for joining me today and next week um, I will be out of town, but we will talk about, um, something. I haven't figured out what topic I want to talk about yet, so it'll come to me. Um, anyway, so have a great day. Stay safe, um, and warm. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, stay cool. All right. Love you guys and talk to you soon.